I've already got my earphones on because I'm so excited to bring you this artist. Wow, wow, wow for 2023. It's a revelation in many, many ways with new artists from around the world coming onto my channel. And a lot of them I'm just tripping over. Others have been recommended by fans, others by friends and family. And I've put it together and what's happened, my channel has grown from 85 subscribers and I'm hitting, whoa, in September of 2023, up to 7,000 honest subscribers. And I'm nearly, and I'm really excited to tell you this, at a million views woo, for my channel. And it's because of discovering artists like this. I'm super, super excited to bring you LP to your musical ears, who is Laura Pergolosi and professionally known as LP, is an American singer, musician, songwriter. Listen to this. LP has released six albums and I've just discovered you, LP. I'm so sorry, but I'm so excited. And I've been listening to a lot of tracks and I have to stop myself. Otherwise, I won't give an honest first time reaction. You are that addictive. Your voice is uniquely unique. It's a powerhouse. It's incredible. And you have written songs for, listen to this, everybody. Sure, Rihanna, Backstreet Boys, Leona Lewis, Meline Farmer, who's on my channel. I shall attach to this particular, in honor of Meline Farmer, the French singer, to this particular video. Celine Dion, who's on my channel. Christine Aguilera, I have to feature her at some point. The Early Life. She was born in Long Island in 1981 to Italian-American parents, their parental godfather coming from Palermo and grandmother from Napoli, Naples. And I hope I've said your, your name, your surname, Pecolosi, adopted the stage name LP after moving to New York City. Now the career. David Larry of the band Crackers saw LP performing and featured them on Cinderella, a hidden track on the band's 1998 album Gentleman Blues, which featured LP's backing vocals and two other tracks. And Larry followed up by producing LP's debut album Heart Shaped Scar. Boy, did, were you onto something when that happened and you discovered this artist and the voice and everybody else. My audience are from all around the world following their artists uh, the, sorry about that sorry following their artists and their favorite performers on my channel and that's why it's growing so fast because i translate all of my videos into many languages and people will thank me as well because when they hear lp's voice oh my god is this so distinctive and so wonderful i can understand why he was so eager to produce the first album so anyway LP's second album, Sub Suburban Sprawl and Alcohol, was released in 2004 through Light Switch Records. On the record, they collaborated with songwriter and music producer Linda Perry. Now, Linda Perry is well known and uh, singer, songwriter, musician, and record producer. However, in, a spite, in spite of extensive touring to promote the release and positive reviews from music crit critics, the album fate to gain wide, widespread recognition. This can happen in the music industry, but that didn't stop LP from producing more and more incredible albums. And a lot of people will say, I've never heard of this artist. And she's remained under the scope, under the radar, so to speak. And all I can say is this, LP, welcome to my channel, CC Europe Pop Music you are going to be oh my god i'm going to call you my favorite 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 discovery of this year i've said that twice but i'm sorry they're going down on the list you're my number one you really are and people are going to see why now there's a lot of history when it comes to personal life because of the identity of lp people ask a lot of questions so i'm going to cover this lp identifies as a lesbian and said in a 2016 interview, it's not important to prove myself as a lesbian, but nevertheless, visibility is important. We are normal people just like anybody else. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I honor you, LP, for not being one of 1,900 different genres in gender at the moment. I just identify people as gay or straight, lesbian or not. 
it's as simple as that and I keep it simple I'm from the old school and all the other forms and all the other nuances that have come along I ignore thank you so LP anyway wrote the song lost on you after a breakup with actress Tamsin Brown and LP then in a relationship with American singer-songwriter Lauren Ruth Ward who appears in the music video LP also dated Mexican actress Julieta and I'm going to hopefully say this properly Krakelis and their relationship ended in 2022 LP identifies as gender neutral stating in a 2018 interview I go by she and her but I honestly don't love it but it would take me out of my life too much to insist on they but I respect people doing it well thank you because if you prefer LP from now on I shall say they that you identify as both so LP also stated they are equally comfortable being considered a garden variety lesbian woman as of May 2023 LP's official bio uses the singular they and I shall do that in respect of you today your song what is it about let's get going with this the song is a love letter to my last two relationship LP says where I felt like in some ways we didn't want to but had to end things for long-term health and well-being of both of us it probably sounds a bit more noble than it really is she continues and concludes the situation deserved an epic and bombastic moment for what it's worth and I think we got one in the long goodbye marks the fourth song unveiled from love lines lp's seventh album which will be out on september the 29th although if i go to the lyrics it's already out so we're talking about last not this so there you go that's the update on lp why am i so excited take a listen i'll be back with the lyrics and go through them quickly Catch a little 
Good God, isn't that amazing? Isn't it amazing? I'm so goddamn excited to have brought LP onto my channel. It's really going to increase the viewership. I know a lot of people who support this artist have, are going to, in adulation, say, at last she's starting to get reacted to in the way she ought to. Now, I'm going to say they from now on because I've remembered what I said previously, I promise, and I've just broken it. But it's habits. I need to form the habit. Instead of saying she, she respects that, I'm going to say they. Well, they, LP, the artist, is incredible. Incredible. Just, and it was almost like a 1940s scenario when it went out on the piano and just raised to the sky. And it was very symbolic of letting feelings go and going, whew, but was that the case? Let's look at the lyrics and I'll give you my interpretation. Hey baby, I worry about you all the time. I know we didn't hold the light, but you were always on my mind. Yeah, baby, they tell you it'll be all right. They'll tell you it'll be fine. But we've done all those lonesome lines. So it's a bit of sweet goodbye because technically you say goodbye for for the sake of a healthy mind and body because you put so much effort into a relationship these days to make it work frivolity comes into relationships because quite easily people can pick up an app go on a dating uh, website and people get addicted to that kind of relationship and other people like LP who have formed a relationship actually knows when it's got to the point and you say you know what I love you babe but it's time to say goodbye and letting go no matter what age you are no matter what you've come through is the hardest thing in the world I had the most toxic relationship with my previous ex and letting go of him was tough because I invested so much of my mental and, and physical well-being into it I couldn't believe when I had to give it up I thought, what a waste of over eight years. But it has to, you have to do it to move on. She continues, drag this on. It can't be wrong. So she almost quizzes the breakup. It, would it have been so bad dragging it on? In my case, LP, it was. She says, stay, say the long goodbye. Let's relive the lie. It doesn't have to be over. Stay. Say the long goodbye. Save me for a while. It doesn't have to be over. So she taunts herself almost with, I will and I won't, and I will and I won't. And there's that re repetitiveness in all of when you say goodbye. We can do it. Or can we? Yes, it's going to work. Or will it? Don't worry. It'll work out. But it usually doesn't. Because when you've resigned yourself to goodbye, 
the longer buy is just a matter of coming, coming, coming till it goes across your face and you realize time to let go. Now the chorus says, verse two, I keep chasing. I know I'm just a dream away. I wish I found the words to say before a moment slipped away. It seems crazy, but I'm looking back at all the pain. I bottle every drop of rain to be the way we were again. Of course you would. You'd love to go back. You'd love to go back in time when you were like, oh, wow, Ooh, mm, mm, mm. sexual chemistry. Mm, mm, mm. <gasps> love the way she thinks. Mm, mm. Love her career. Mm, mm. I can help her. She can help me. Mm, mm. It's great. It's great. It's great. But unfortunately, we all know that when you are living like that, sometimes dreams break and what you aspire to be doesn't happen and the dark clouds appear not through any fault of your own just you know what it is I always say it's personalities that clash the yin and yang weren't there and karma will come round to give you as it did in LP's situation another relationship that she features and I'm going to actually play a video with her current partner um, in it but at that point of the relationship about this song should I have said things better should I have done you've gone through it all before that moment slipped away should I have said no I'll give it one more try no you have to go with your feelings and just say goodbye it's the hardest thing in the world but it's the best thing mentally to recover physically for karma to come around for you to be able to be in a good position to give it to another person who I'm not going to say in this case who's more deserving but who will replicate your feelings on the same level mentally physically everything else but she still laments stay stay say the long goodbye let's live the lie there's no point in living the lie that's my advice it doesn't have to be over yes it does when you feel it should do don't go against your gut feeling please say the long goodbye save me for a while I don't want it to be over and then the bridge in the song says kiss a little longer catch a little fire nothing is forever don't believe in time so she resolves her fate it's like the burning fire the flames of passion and when the when you look at the symbolism of a fire and a fire goes down you almost feel that's symbolic of how I feel the fire has gone out so the realization is here you know it isn't and then of course you quiz yourself am I a bad person thinking this because she says stay oh say the longer by let's live the life so she goes through that again but the outer is drag this on it can't be wrong so she quizzes herself all the time because she's got feelings she's a sensitive person and she knows you know being a lesbian having the image she does people quiz it so she prefers to unite them and say look I'm known as they and there you wrote a powerful song, a powerful song that touches the heart of many, many people in that situation. I hope you get out of it. And like LP Karma comes around to smile at you again, it can happen. But I would say don't put off the long goodbye. Do it as quickly as you can to make that happen. Thanks for listening, everybody. Take care for now. And welcome again, LP, to my channel. I'm really excited to have you on board. Take care.